Hey, how was your evening? Good, I hope. I'm Sage, I'm a growth coach, and ooh, this one's gonna help your life out. I promise. Choose to acknowledge is our topic today. And basically, uh, if you haven't noticed, life is a little bit chaotic and busy. But regardless of what is going on in your own life, you can always choose to acknowledge and appreciate others. Always. So I'm going to remind you on how to do a better job of that. So let's talk about the power of being seen and heard. As Oprah Winfrey always says, that people really want to hear and feel um, this basic sentiment. So it's either verbally or just by showing, I see you, I hear you, and what you do matters. I see you, I hear you, and what you do matters. Okay, we all wanna feel that. You're lying if you say you don't. So gratitude, being appreciated. Let's talk about that. Gratitude really has a ripple effect. And if you haven't noticed this, well, let's try it out. If you say something nice or do something nice for somebody else, have you ever noticed that they quickly return the favor or they, you, you notice them pass it on to somebody else or um, there's just good energy around? That's because appreciation and acknowledgement and gratitude really has this ripple effect. And you can be part of that ripple effect because the truth is being acknowledged has such a heartwarming effect that it just really makes us feel grat gratitude and it just keeps rippling on. So how about a couple quotes? about acknowledgement. No one who, who achieves success does so without acknowledging the help of others. The wise and confident acknowledge this help with gratitude. Alfred North Whitehead. And then if you wish your merit to be known, acknowledge that of other people. Kind of goes with this, the statement, it takes a village. So if you achieve something great, it's probably taken a village to help you get there. It's taken your husband picking up the kids. It's taken um, your mom running an errand for you. It's taken your good friend, you know, cheering you on on the phone. All of those things. It takes a village. So let's ask ourselves a couple of things. When was the last time you actually acknowledged somebody for something wonderful that they did for you or others? Actually acknowledged, not thought in your head, oh God, that was so great, that was so nice. And then you say, to, you say to Bobby Sue here next to you and you know, at the supermarket, oh, that's so great. But do you actually acknowledge them for whatever happened? Um, when was the last time that you you were truly acknowledged for your efforts on something. God, I hope it was today or yesterday. Because if you have to think hard, that's a big bummer. You got to surround yourself with more people who acknowledge how great you are. Because you're pretty great. Like, in my opinion, you're pretty great. And by showing up here, growing with me, you're trying to get to be even better. So thanks for growing with me. All right, last question. Who are two people that you could acknowledge right now? Right now, like boom, boom. You can just think of them in your head. Ooh, yeah, um, that's right. Oh, my friend did this, that's great. Okay, yep, and my husband uh, ran by the grocery store on the way home so we can have the meal we wanna have. Oh, that's so great. I can acknowledge those two people right now. So how about I give you some ways to Acknowledge others a little bit better. How about five? How about we do five? Write a thank you, a handwritten one. You know, like cards and envelopes, and like you put a stamp on it and actually send it. Or sneak it onto their desk at work. 
So when they come, come back, there's this nice little thank you there. That's number one. Number two, acknowledge them in front of others, like their coworkers or their peers. Like, oh gosh, have you noticed how much work that um, Tom's been doing on this project? Like, wow, like you are rocking this thing, Tom. I don't know how you're pulling it all off. And boy, it's, it's amazing. Like this is going to save us. Say it out loud in front of a bunch of people. So they, uh, it, th the gratitude starts to ripple. Okay. Um, here's number three, give them a thoughtful gift or experience. Okay. So li listen and be present with people so that you know that they love herbal tea. Go pick one out for them. Put on their desk. A little thank you. Look at you. You've been listening. That is a major way to acknowledge people is that you listen to what means something to them. Okay. That makes a huge difference. Use social media for good and watch the ripple ripples. Ooh, there's some negatives about social media. There's no doubt to that. Okay. But you can use it for positive and just really talk somebody out, up and spread the ripples of gratitude. Number five, you can choose to sit face to face, look them actually in the eyes. Okay. And tell them you appreciate them. Like, I feel like that's kind of a lost art right now. Sure, you can send them a text or send them an email of gratitude and how much you appreciate. And I guarantee that's going to mean something. But if you like look them in the face and tell them, holy cow, whole different ball game, right? Okay, let's go back over the five because there's a challenge with this. And I think you're going to want to hear the five again. So a handwritten thank you. Acknowledge them in front of a group of people like their coworkers. Give them a thoughtful gift or experience. Use social media for good to acknowledge them and watch the ripples. Choose to sit face to face, look them in the eye and actually tell them how much they mean to you. Okay, five options that you can choose from. So here's the challenge. Ready for a challenge? I bet you are. In the next two weeks, I want you to try and acknowledge different people in your life. And I want you to try at least once of each of the five. I have to play this again. Jot them down. Put a post note on your mirror. Five. And you got two weeks and you got to get through all five different ways of acknowledging somebody in your life. You could watch this video and do it tonight if you want. That's my challenge. Because if we actually show up and show people that we see them, we hear them, and they mean something, okay, what a great, great gift and what a better world this will be. And guess where it starts? With you. With me. With all of us. So thanks for growing with me. Make sure you follow more videos on Facebook and on YouTube. And if you want to book a session to get better at acknowledging others, shout out. All right. Love you.